Here in our new home at the Bellingen High School Community Garden, the Bellingen Eco-Faith community is going to be exploring the garden as a metaphor for life and as a place within which we can pray and ponder this morning. In life as in the garden, there's a time for planting for new things that are happening in our life. When we plant something though, we need to provide for it, uh, water and nutrients in the garden. We also need to protect it and so people will have an opportunity to do some weeding and some removing of pests and grubs as we contemplate what it means to protect and to cherish those things in our life that we're trying to nurture or in the lives of our communities. We also then need to do some pruning every now and then so that the bits that are going well go even better and aren't shaded out by the less helpful aspects of what's going on in our life. We need to make decisions about what we're going to nurture. Then we need, well, we get the opportunity to pick all of this planting and protecting and providing for eventually hopefully results in a harvest either for ourselves or for someone else in our community or our world and so there'll be the opportunity here today with the tomatoes and the beans doing so well to do some picking also and in a garden we reminded that as in life everything perishes there's a season for all things including a season for dying as the peas die off people have the opportunity as they contemplate them to think about the things in their own lives that are coming to an end, that are dying, diminishing, to grieve for that, to give thanks for what's been, and to look forward to what it is that God might be calling them to plant again. So today we're here in this garden, which is of course good in and of itself for the food that it provides us and other creatures and for all of the habitat that it provides, but also today we're using it as a metaphor to explore our spiritual life with God.